Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, Elite Mode, Case 57, Into the Waste. Let's launch after two and... Oh right, Frank is calling us. Oh my gosh, Katarina, Frank's calling me. Frank, where are you? You need to surrender, please. No time, Katarina. Coordinates, old laboratory. Hurry, you understand. Sorry. Frank? Frank! Katarina, he hung up. I can't believe he called us, and it seems he's trying to help us. He's giving us the coordinates of a place, some old laboratory in the desert. Or could this be a trick? Could Frank be laying a trap for you, Katarina? Summoning you to a secluded place? Tell me he'd never do that. I don't think he will. You're right, the only way to discover what lies in waiting that old laboratory is by going there. And I won't let you go alone. Keep your gun at ready, just in case. So will I. <laughs> Picture of Tesla and something that looks like was made by Tesla. Great. I'm not touching any of these. Vintage computer. Whoa. can't see anyone. Can you, Katarina? I guess it wasn't a trick. Frank really thought this place might help our investigation. I wonder what the deal is with that huge machine. All that electricity looks dangerous. Do you think? Commissioner Katarina! I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, and I know who you are, dude. Eek! You, you're Alan Moore. The hermit who lives in the forest of White Peaks, near my hometown. But... How did you end up in the waste, Mr. Moore? Commissioner Katrina will need to talk to you. Strange things are happening and out of town hermits are definitely suspicious. Katrina, you also want to rummage through that box of electronics? Good thinking. While the storm is raging outside, we can look for answers in here. What's this machine? It looks like a cross between a TV and a typewriter. Let's unlock it. Alright. Let's look through this tech junk. Well, lots of typewriters, radios, telephones, everything old. Wow. Oh, and what's this? Katarina, you found a torn book in the electronics box. What if it's a missing link between this lab and the murder? Quick, piece it back together. Okay. Alright, now this machine. Ah, god damn it. Great, you unlock the machine you find in the abandoned lab. Hannah will know what it is. Let's send it to her. Okay. Alright, now this torn book. Uh, I know who it is. <laughs> Katria, the book you find in the lab looks like a diary of a madman. Look at all those brains and wires. And there's a photo too. It looks quite old. 
That man's probably long dead. Who he was. Well, Rustle is the expert on mad people and their twisted minds. Let's send this to him. Okay. Well, 30 hours. Didn't expect that. Alright, let's go to Alan now. So, Mr. Moir, what made you come to the Waste, all the way from White Peaks? Well, it's going to sound strange for Mr. Katarina, but I'm here to meet someone. His name is David Rosenberg. Whoa. What? You know David Rosenberg? But you're a hermit, you live in the woods, and David was an inventor in the city. How did you two ever meet? Well, I never actually met him, but he sent me a letter. He said he had something very important to tell me and convinced me to come here. David even sent me money for the trip. When I got here, I found no one. I wonder if he perished in that storm. Your story is very hard to believe, Mr. Moyer, and David is no longer able to vouch for it. He was murdered. Murdered? So I traveled to this horrible, sickening place for nothing? I can't stop coughing, Commissioner Katrina. I miss the fresh mountain air. Alright, why would he invite a hermit like you to come here to this place? Is there something on this ancient computer, if I could call it? Hello, Hannah. Any news about the machine Katrina found in the abandoned lab? Love, machine, amazing. Katrina, can keep it? No, you can't. Hannah, we have no time for your love affair with retro junk. Tell us what the wretched machine does. Communication terminal. Messages. Last message says, I killed David. Save project. Meteor systems. Help me out of here. Wait, you say the killer used the machine to send a message to meteor systems? To tell him about the murder? Yes, and machine needs electricity. Portable generator. To work. Look for person. Generator. Katarina. Killer. Uses generator. So the killer has a portable generator. Well, electricity isn't going to save them, Katarina. Not with you on their trail. Alright. Portable generator. Probably gonna need it since we are... You know, men's land, if I could call it like that. What about the diary? Russell, can you hear us? Amy, so glad. Safe. Well, we are stuck in a nuclear sandstorm, so I'm not sure about being safe. But tell us about the diary Katria found in the lab. The diary documents. Research. Translating. Brainwaves. Russell, the line is breaking up. Translating what? Theory, machine, reading minds. Whoa. Remember, Dr. Newman, psychiatrist, brainwashing, Ivywood for the Utopians. Oh, what? Dr. Newman, the Utopian psychiatrist who invented the brainwashing? But he's supposed to be in prison. No, in the waste. Katerina, diary, important. Katarina, I can't believe this. Another one of our former suspects is in the waste. We have to find out how Dr. Newman got mixed up in all this. Let's go. You dude are supposed to be in jail, so how... How are you here? Okay, let's go to him. Dr. Newman, we thought you were still in prison for your involvement in the brainwashing in Ivywood. I was released from your sister's ap appeal to the parole board on my behalf. They would offer me a job. Whoa. What kind of job? Not another brainwashing project, I hope. Oh no, I'm here to study the legacy of a pioneer inventor from the 1960s, called Albert Tesla. He was a genius. I want to adapt his old inventions for modern brain research. This is Tesla's old laboratory, and these are his inventions. Tesla worked here until he vanished one day, without a trace. So, in short, you know nothing about two fugitives or the murder of a certain David Rosenberg. Is that it? 
I'm afraid I don't, but I've found my real calling, Kushta Katrina. Even the radiation sickness is worth it. Well then. Katrina, I fear we are not getting any closer to solving David's murder. Well, not really. What we got here was an old lab. And what about Frank and Karen? I started to wonder if we'll ever catch them. You're right, Katrina. We shouldn't lose hope. How can we uncover what's going on in the wastes? You think we should go back to the testing site? Alright, I'm right behind you. Alright. Let's go back to the testing site. Please don't test anything out there. I'm just thinking about Indiana Joe's. If we could find the nearest fridge somewhere around here. Oh, finally something modern. <laughs> Hold on, this... I know what this is, it's the weather machine that we... We shut down back in Jazz Town. Katarina, what's that photograph you picked up? Looks like another machine. There's some faded writing on the picture. I hope you can make it legible. And that lock tablet has a video system's logo on it. I like it quickly, Katarina. This is a hot clue. Okay. Last accessed by General Freebed. Oh, Katria, you locked the tablet divider to look your testing site. And the screen says, last access by General Freebed. Hang on, the tablet belongs to video systems. Why would the army have access to it? You're right, Katria, there's something fishy here. Let's quiz the general about this. Yeah. Alright, now the faded picture. Don't mess with what you don't understand, David. Oh! So the message on that photo you find at the testing site reads, Don't mess with what you don't understand, David. So what threatened our victim? But what does that strange machine have to do with anything? It's the weather machine. What a control machine. Alright, let's send the photo to Hannah. Let her figure it out. Alright, fine. Oh, you'll see you'll see that I'm all, that I that I'm right. Okay, let's go to general. General Freeman, Commissioner Kadir has discovered you access one of Meteor Systems' tablets. We know they are involved in Davis's Davis's murder. And I would suspect you're involved too. Ah, well, it's not the first time you outsmarted me, Commissioner Katarina. I was too ashamed to admit it, but I was discharged from the army on medical grounds after what happened in Ryan Canyon. The stress affected my memory. I still can't remember how our mission ended. I work in private security now. My new job was to monitor David Rosenberg's movements for his own protection. I was employed by Meteor Systems. But why would Meteor Systems hire an ex-soldier to spy on their own employee? What did David know? And who did he need protection from? I can't help you there, Commissioner Katrina. Fighting is what I used to be good at, but I've just failed another mission. The waste is like a war to the Commissioner Katrina. Kill or be killed. I'm already sick from radiation. Gotta get out of here. Take my advice and do the same. Alright. 
Am I right? Is this the weather controlling machine? Oh, the phone lines are still working. Hello, Hannah? Katrina, checked photograph, archives, classified by the army. But the machine? Familiar. Katrina, remember? Weather controlling machine. Jazz Town. Told you. What? The Jazz Town weather machine? I remember the project was led by Colonel Spangler. But wait, Colonel Spangler's dead. He can't have anything to do with David's death. Colonel, dead, but Andy Pascal, in the waste, where the machine caused Nisa's death. Which means that Andy Pascal could have written that threat to David. Thank you, Hannah. We're off to find him. Alright. Question Katarina, you're still alive. You're tougher than I thought. Why didn't, you, why didn't you tell us you knew the victim, Andy? Commissioner Katria found your threat to him. Ah, oh, I should have remembered. You're always one step ahead of people, Commissioner Katarina. Alright, it's true. I met David as soon as I arrived in the waste. When I learned he was an inventor, I feared the worst. I didn't want another wooden machine to be created. So, you thought David was about to unleash another disaster on the world? And you kill him? To prevent it? All I did was warn him. It's inventors like David who turned the waste into a nuclear death trap. Just wait till it kills you too, Commissioner Katarina. Okay. Katarina, I have a terrible headache. Do you think it's the radiation? You look worn out too. Maybe. I agree, we'd better finish this investigation as fast as possible so we can get back to looking for Frank. And hopefully leave this place. Let's recap. Eddie Pascal threatened our victim because he was afraid David might be working on a deadly machine like the one which killed his niece. Speaking of inventors, Dr. Dewey claims to be researching a legendary genius who vanished in the waste several decades ago. We have yet to find out how this fits into the picture. And then there's General Freeman who claims that... My phone's ringing. Amy speaking. What is it? Guys, huge! I discovered common link, suspects and your victim, they all work together. Work together or what? Well, we gotta stop here, we gotta continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!